that is so gone. Empty bottles everywhere, all strong, hitting the long bone. Drunk as we singing the wrong song. Aside from Hong Kong, the sky that I'm about to crawl on, I battle raw dog. If I let him with a fuck, who am I kidding? Would it matter if I need the letter just to get up in his big truck? Yeah, because I'm not sober. Now look at that drink that I knocked over. I'm unwell, I'm the product of a crossover. And I'm high, but I used to be a non smoker. Tell me who I'm looking at. In this mirror, it is scarier than October. I don't know me, but it feels like I'm a lot older. And I'm no longer watching stocks, I watch the stockholder. I was grinding, all I wanted was to cash a check. Now I party, and I party like a bachelorette. Was a female pimp, yeah, that's fair to say. Now that I wanna settle down, they think I'm here to play. You can't escape who you once was, I guess I don't. Up, but instead of crying, I go to clubs and get up, thinking that my nighting shining armor gonna appear. Instead, I got a tipsy, staring at my rear. My friends say that I'm looking in the wrong place. That's the reason why you're looking at a long face. But anyway, ain't no stressing, ain't no. I am single and I love it. I've accepted my position now. Chilling on my lonesome, what the f you think I'm doing? Somebody that your other half wouldn't mind splitting the check, he get the other half. It's the love and not the money that I wanna have, but I want every single part of it. I have. Sometimes I have to ask myself, what is the point then? It's having someone to talk to and roll a joint with. Getting massages without making an appointment. Cuddling and holding hands with someone to be close with. It's a shame these pickup lines that I get approached with are raw from just disgusting men that's bathed in cologne. And of all the most disgusting men, if one was to catch, I swing the bat and I run it. That's the one I'm going home with. I ain't in the pity of self help books. I need how not to be lonely without help. Books. Matter of fact, I need a man that's gonna treat me right. And I'ma treat that person equally. Let that person cheat on me. I'ma treat him evilly. Maybe I'm still single 'cause I'm really crazy secretly. I'm confused. I'm psychotic. I'm a nutcase. He don't wanna date, but he will let me see his face. Dudes that I spend time with got a super common love. Hey, 'cause we go good together till we outside of the stage. What happens then? Well, we're no longer compatible. Time to make this seem like collateral. Until then, I'm chilling. What was that you just performed right now? Uh, that's probably going to be the single for my next EP. Mm -hmm. We're planning on releasing it June 4th. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, dates are subject to change and there's a lot of stuff that still needs to be done. But Definitely. Um, what was I, that What was that called? That one was called Lonesome. Lonesome. Um, awesome. And, mm -hmm. like, we're still sitting on, like, production and, like, who's going to do it and, Definitely. you know, how much we're going to drop on it. But, like, we're thinking that's going to be the single. So, yeah. Like that's, that's just like a preview of the direction we're going in for that for that's that joint. Amazing. That's dope. Uh, that was that was that was real dope. I can, <laughs> relate, to, I can relate to the lyrics as well too. Like, <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so that's one thing. If I can give you advice on, do not have a firm date or do not release it to the public. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. Because as you know, rappers and uh, MCs and always push back, always push back. Yeah. I think something that you should keep between your obviously your team internally have a date that you guys are trying to aim for, yeah. and then when you're sure. Then you could release it to the public because mm -hmm. there's nothing worse than always. That's very true. Things. I don't even yeah. want to like. I would never try to create like a, like a like a like a practical buzz for that date, right? Yeah, because yeah, I, yeah. I there's so much that I have to go to LA and like mm -hmm. cut these records. So okay, like these are all like I have demos done for everything, and then like some will get cut, right? So mm -hmm. like that was our perspective date, but I really don't. <laughs> I personally don't even feel like it'll be that. So I guess that's just like 
an era, a time era for <laughs> stuff to get done, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not, it's probably not going to be the actual date, but yeah, definitely. that's definitely. Good so advice. yeah, before we get into the EP and all, all about that, let's start in the beginning of the introduction. So you were four years old getting vocal training. So obviously your family background had a role and your parents, or let me, tell me about that. How did that start four years old be, um, doing vocal training? I, I guess I'm yeah. one of those lucky artists that like comes from a family that is into music. There's a lot of people that just they get into it on their own but mm -hmm. um, all my sisters play the piano my oldest sister's a piano teacher she's got perfect pitch like mm -hmm. so really it kind of came from her mm -hmm. like my parents putting her into music and her like accepting it so well then they just put us all into it and so oh, I sang okay. for seven years and mm -hmm. then I stopped uh, I used to sing in Scarborough and then I uh, got to expensive mm -hmm. I, was, I was like 11 mm -hmm. or yeah 4 to 11 Mm -hmm. So we stopped, and I started rapping. One Fifty Cent dropped "Get Rich or Die Trying." Oh snap! Was just, <laughs> that was, was inspiration, eh? Yeah, that was the inspiration, and like him and him and Chingy, and it was like fun at first. And I used mm -hmm. to just do it like with the dollar store mic, mm -hmm. and then I realized I was good at it. I just kept doing it. Then mm -hmm. I started producing, mm -hmm. and so now I'm taking it really serious. Definitely. So how did your your parent? Were your because uh, rap sometimes, you know what I mean? Uh, doesn't not big uh, amongst our parents especially mm -hmm. when they did vocal training they spent all this money <laughs> as soon as you tr stop you start rapping they're like oh my god are they yeah. panicking a little bit or no my mom's yeah. the kind of person that like if if you're good at something mm -hmm. then she'll support it so mm -hmm. like you know at first it was trivial and it was a hobby mm -hmm. and she would you know push us to do um, music, but I, I wanted to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. um, and then grade 11 hit, and I bought my first laptop, and I started producing with FL, and that's when it got real. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you what you started with. Yeah, producing. I started with FL before, like, moving on, and, and mm -hmm. that's where it got real, and then she heard my stuff, and it, like, at first she never let me swear, and then because I was good at it, she mm -hmm. didn't care because the records were good, like, so mm -hmm. I think as long as she, she can hear it on the radio, she's cool with mm -hmm. it. That's awesome. That's good. That's yeah. good. That's great. Uh, so, uh, so that's the first song that you had. Uh, what else do you have uh, planned for in terms of performing uh, today? Uh, the whole, actually, the EP is, is a really cool idea. Um, mm -hmm. It's it's a story. The whole thing is uh, like a bad relationship. So it mm -hmm. starts off like I'm alone. That's the first. That's supposed to be like the intro to the tape. Mm -hmm. So I'm chilling. I'm alone. Like I'm confused about being alone, but mm -hmm. I'm I've accepted it. And then I meet someone. We get together. Stuff happens, and then it just ends bad. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much. The, like that's the six songs I'm doing. They follow that, story. so each song story. is a part of that story. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's awesome. That's <laughs> great. And obviously, one thing people can relate with is relationships and bad relationships and yeah. pain, heartbreaks, yeah. and all that. Like I think. And I thought like, yeah. I thought the best thing about it would be like, if they even if they've never been like. It's not necessarily cheated on, but, like, mm -hmm. something goes wrong where things are bad. And it's, like, not everybody's experienced that, but everyone has been alone at one point. Everyone's mm -hmm. been in love at one point. Mm -hmm. So there's got to be one or two songs that you relate to mm -hmm. in this tape. Like, unless you're really young and you've never been in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. <laughs> Other than that, like, you have to relate to at least one, so. Yeah, I, I think even if you haven't through, been through the experiences that artists are singing, you could still, like, feel mm -hmm. the emotion that they're giving. And, exactly. Like, you know what I mean? And that's... Just like get rich or die trying. We might not have been uh, slanging uh, crack or b busting guns, but we can okay, appreciate yeah. where, that, where he's coming from, exactly. where he's coming from, and the story that he's telling as well too. Right. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, I'm really excited to see what uh, what else you're gonna be performing. So I'm gonna play an old track, but while you make your transition, I'm playing all white. Where's this? Where this all music? White. Yeah, so all white is what I'm gonna play. All right. uh, you gave me a bunch of tracks today, so I don't even know where they're from. Where that yeah. is my. EP 18. Um, okay. I recorded that when I was 18, so 2011. Okay. I'm 20 now. Yeah. Um, and I recorded this with Sunny Diamonds, Baseline produced everything. Mm -hmm. um, and then we just we dropped Pop Pills as a single two years ago. So mm -hmm. uh, that's what that is. Okay. That's what we're going to use as our transition music. Yeah. So, <laughs> so Habaya Older Mighty <laughs> can perform the new ish Old to new. Yeah. on the radio. Old to new. This is the first time you're probably performing this on the radio, what you're performing this today, is, right? Yeah, this is my second time performing these songs. So, okay. So, performing like, ever. Ever. Oh, nice. okay. So, wow. like, this is, this is my first time doing the whole guitar setup. Like, it's all new. So, that's awesome. I'm trying to, like, branch out. <laughs> really get geeked world premiere, stuff. world premiere, world premiere. <laughs> Habaya Mighty in London, yo. Habaya <laughs> Mighty. And Habaya Mighty is her website. And what's the Twitter handle? Uh, Havaya Mighty H-A-V-I-A-H Mighty Good brand there you go. Everything consistent All across yes. the board <laughs> Good points with Cheddar With that one <laughs> Alright So we're gonna play All White right now While Havaya Mighty Makes her way to our uh, Live uh, studio And performs her uh, I'm, I believe I want you To perform two songs And two. then okay, and we'll cool. get back To the interview Okay Alright cool Catch myself. Like, I, 
I was watching, I, I don't know if it was SNL or Jay Leno or something, mm -hmm. and like I saw like Mumford and Sons or some band mm -hmm. performing, and then I saw Two Chains. And I just compared it, and I was like, damn. I like 2 Chains, and like he's a dope lyricist, but mm. performance-wise, like it just didn't feel like enough energy. One man, and then a backing track. You don't. Mm -hmm. The music's not being made on the spot, yeah. so it's hard. It's it's a different feeling, right? So mm -hmm. I just don't want to. I want to be able to transcend to people who don't just listen to lyrics. Do you have like? Have you done a lot of performances where you have a live band? Uh, I did like three other, other, or four last year, but Finchel? I can't. I can't. I can't have a live band nah. right now. No. Nah. No. Nah. No. I'm too busy. I, yeah. Like, I worked with them and it was cool. We and we did it for the year, like 2012. Mm -hmm. But it's like getting they're they're really talented and they're doing their own thing. And I can't deal with gathering people for rehearsals. Like when yeah. I want to practice, like I need to practice. Yeah. And like I can't. It's too much people, too many egos. Mm -hmm. And so like I hope one day, you know, when I'm more successful, I can have the leverage to say, Do you, "Would you like to be in my band? I could pay you." Oh, you yeah, know, definitely. and then it's different. I'm not paying these people, and so they don't have to come to my practice. And I just feel wrong trying to prioritize myself on other people. Mm -hmm. Like I, no one can prioritize me like me. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I kind of want to do the the one band thing because then nothing can hold you back. I don't want to run into like breaking up and like Stress, perhaps drama. other people don't want your band, but they want you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like mm -hmm. just a just, commitment. And it's a commitment, yeah, and I I yeah. love playing with a live band. I just don't think it's the right time yet. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I feel like yeah, the live band is like it's that the highest elevation of, of yeah, performing absolutely. as well too, right? Exactly. And yeah. like, I did it because I was in MI, I'm in MIA and there's mm -hmm. a lot of people and they like, that are talented and they were willing to help. Mm -hmm. And so I it was for experience, mm -hmm. but they can't like they play in other bands and they're just busy, you know. Definitely. Uh, People need to realize when you get a deal, it's, uh, think of a record label like a bank. Mm. You know, when you're getting an advance, it's a loan. Oh, mm -hmm. absolutely. You, you got to pay that money back. Yeah, yeah people don't know that. People don't not, do not know that. No. And uh, that's why I like, uh, you know, doing what I do and all these musicians that I come across. And like, I'm like, ask, when I ask artists, what are your goals? Like, oh, I want to sign a deal. That's my dream. And like, if that's your dream, okay. But like, you need to realize that you do not need a record label nowadays to you be successful. Don't. And uh, it's... Uh, you know, it's a beautiful thing, and it's also might be uh, kind of probably gets confusing. Or artists might be like, "Okay, where do I start then if I don't need a deal?" Type of thing. Exactly. So what is what? What are you doing now then? Like, what um, is your game plan? Honestly, artists? it's 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 just as confusing for me as any other artist. <laughs> I just think that my talent my talent tells me I need to I, can, I have to somehow, and I just don't know how. Uh -huh. But you know, once I graduate, my first step is I'm, I'm trying to go to LA to, to do a couple of photo shoots uh -huh. for the tape. Um, okay. So I want to get those knocked out just mm. to get the branding right, the visual right, mm -hmm. that type of stuff. I want to mm -hmm. get my website updated because it's under construction right now. Mm -hmm. um, and then I want to be able to just do shows. Like I want to have, I want to be able to flood the blogs and to have the content online and to do covers of whatever the hottest joint is that month. Yo, and then just have, big. yeah, like started from the bottom and just stuff like that. Like yeah. hard tracks that are just undeniable and they're yeah. getting, they're getting listens and stuff like that. And then I just want to be able to perform my original content while all of that is online and just, I guess, just increase the presence. But mm -hmm. it's, it's hard because you had to do it smart. If you're annoying, people don't want to hear you. They don't want to see you. Definitely. It had its power over me for a minute Watching you line squirm and pivot Push it to the limit Start a lab with no attempt to finish All the evidence was on the red You was P You crazy You gon' be my HK You was P Heckler and Koch Better than God Cause I'm like the Lord It'll do whatever I want So when I put it to your face Don't flinch Well now you sad Just had a crash Is that my bad? Yeah that's what you get for thinking You're so slick Is that avalanche? Is that the math? Is that your bad? Yeah Now you claiming you a better man? Nah That don't even seem right Spread that bullet Make sure that you never get right I saw you being better, but feel like door out the door, 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 out the bye bye door, out the 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 door. Out the door, out the door. 
wanna hear no questions. All I wanna do is see you leave. I don't wanna hear no answers. You can take too long to go, then all I wanna do is see you bleed. I don't wanna have to hurt you. I don't want no damn reversal. I don't wanna be too verbal. Now I don't wanna talk. I'll just watch you walk. Out the door, out the door, out the door, out the door. Door, out the door, out the door, out the door.